All right, YouTube. So we're just going on a little trip here, just getting some fuel, and uh, I'll do a video and show you guys here in a little bit what we are going to get. To do a, talk about it here in a little bit. All right. YouTube. This is what I've got. I've been on the road for a good six hours, seven hours, I guess. This is a Dennis Seamoff 180D that I bought. It's used. Um, funny story behind this. My, a good friend of mine used to have this head, and we found it all the way in Arkansas. So, um, Anyway, I'm going to do a little more video on it when I get home. I'm here in a Love's parking lot right now. Uh, taking a little break. About an hour and a half from the house. So, uh, I'm just going to stop and do this little video right quick. Um, we'll look at it more up close when we, uh, when we get home. Okay, so I just got back from Russellville, Arkansas, which is 447 miles from where I'm standing. Um, and 447 miles there, 447 miles back. And I'm going to have to brag on my little truck. Uh, that, that's a 07 Duramax. Uh, this has really got nothing to do with the video that I'm going to post, but this is 07 and a half Duramax. Um, it's got the, it's a two wheel drive. Not sure what the gear ratio is, but it's, see, it's just a plain work truck. Nothing special. It's been deleted. And it's got this little... And guys, I don't know if this is worth a flip or not. But anyway. This little TK, TNK Performance. And there's five tunes in this dude anyway. Uh, it's on the 80 horsepower tune. Which is a light tow tune. Uh, I think the 60's a heavy tow. And it'll go up to 100 and then 120. Which I don't ever put it on that. But that's what it is. Uh, it's just a work truck. I mean, just... Kind of my little beater. Um, but I drove that thing 160,000 miles. I drove it to Russell, Arkansas, and uh, filled it up. Got up there and went to fill up again. And hey, that thing averaged 19 miles a gallon. If I hadn't have seen it for myself, I would have said I was a liar. But it did 19 miles a gallon. It's awesome. Very awesome. So, what do we go to Russell, Arkansas for? We went to Russell, Arkansas for this guy. This is a Dennis Seamoth 180D mulcher. Um, in the mulching community, this is probably the best mulching head. Uh, it's kind of known that that's probably the best mulching head you'll buy. I know there's other guys that like different kinds. Um, FAE, whatnot. Those are very, 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 very good heads too, in my opinion. Um, but uh there's FAE gyro track which is the same rotor design as this I've, there's a big long story about all that crap that i'm not going to get into but it's pretty much the same rotor or it is the same rotor um they might be a few differences but but they're the same design uh gyro tracks motor housing goes actually all the way across the body which i don't like and their their housings and all is a little a little weaker i think they're not made as stout and the bearings are maybe not as big 
big and whatnot, they still produce a great mulch. So they do, do a good job. So uh, I'm not going to get into a pissing match on why a gyro, I didn't see moss better than a gyro track. Um, that's my opinions on why they are. Um, so this has a D depth control rotor. Uh, I know that's kind of what Fecon calls theirs, uh, which what that does for anybody that don't know is when the material the material hits these rings and comes up and it only lets it only lets so much of the tooth bite well that allows you with these knives to be more productive other than a, thinking about a hammer just beating on a piece of wood um this is a this is a good design um uh, very, very well thought out. Uh, and that's a very, very good company. Dennis Seamoth, a very, very good company. I really uh, have their customers' best interest in mind from what I can tell. Um, not to say that any of the other companies don't, but Dennis Seamoth does. Um, so, uh, this head actually was owned by a friend of mine. Um, did not know that when I was going to get it, had no idea and got doing some research and, um, looking around and found out that it actually was. And one, one of the reasons we, how we figured it out was these little marks right here were actually another mulching head grazed it. I don't know exactly how that happened, but, uh, it did happen and it tweaked the push bar a little bit on these new Dennis Seamoth heads, the new 180s and I'm sure the other ones, they have a different push bar design and they have bolt on skid shoes and uh i don't know there might be a few other differences but nonetheless that's what it is this is a 16 model 15 built november 15 so i guess it's a 16 model and there's a little super track sk140 um which has 140 horsepower acert 4.4 caterpillar engine some people like to call them a perka pillar I believe they're off of a Perkins design, but uh, good engine. Uh, that machine actually has, if you've seen in my other videos, it pushes 40 gallons a minute directly to that head. It does has its own closed loop pump dedicated to the mulcher, which is awesome. That allows you to uh, just walk through things a little better. Uh, I actually haven't ran that head. Uh, I haven't ran any head on this machine, but uh, where the other machines, you know, that are sharing the flow with the drive motors and up and down functions and tilt functions of the boom and all that where they share that this one does not it's all the mulcher has its own pump and the rest of the machine has its own pump so that kind of helps reduce heat um and uh prolongs the life of these machines which is good to uh say some of these machines have seven eight thousand hours on them with uh, little to no trouble so that's exciting this one has 700 hours on it 736 to be exact uh that this machine uh is there's a cell pending on it um i will know more monday of this week maybe so there is a cell pending on this guy um if not i'm gonna keep it around a little bit but I, I still may sell it. I don't know. I need a, guys, I, I, I do this on the side and I need a machine that's multifunctional. I need a machine I can grade with and mulch with. And you really can't grade with this machine because of all that weight in the back and that torsion axle suspension. It's, uh, kind of throws you for a loop. Uh, or it does me trying to grade. I graded out a parking lot the other night in the dark. And, uh, probably not the best time to do that, but I was rushed and needed to get it done. It took me about an hour and a half to grade that parking lot out where it should have took me about 30 minutes. If I'd have been on a rigid frame machine, it would have took me about 30 minutes. Like that Kubota 95 we have, or my buddy's got, um, probably took me about 30 minutes with it to knock that pile of gravel down where it took me about an hour and a half with this one. Uh, so that wasn't very productive. So what I need, I need a good machine that mulches, runs a mulcher, and, um, and can grade and all that. And you asked me what I'm going to buy. Uh, that's for another video, and I'll tell you. Well, I'm not going to tell you exactly what I'm going to buy, but I'll tell you what I want. Um, 
so anyway there we go the dennis seamoff 180d mulching head uh to put this head hook it up i'm going to have to change those couplers out and i'm not going to do that until i know if this machine sold or not um if this was a house i guess you would say we have a contract on it i don't i don't know uh, um the guy's trying to get the money for it he's supposed to have it monday or know something anyway these are stucci couplers and those are just regular old flat face quick connect couplers they may be a stucci brand but these are these are stucci screwing couplers and they help reduce heat and um they won't allow the hose to actually come off and uh uh, ruin something sorry i thought somebody's pulling up ruin something like um, a motor which is in there so uh it's really good for mulching super track put them on there, all their machines from what i understand and uh those things are like i said i'm not going to buy any for this head until i know for sure that this machine sold because them dudes are like 400 bucks and i'm not going to spend 400 dollars if i don't need to so if i do what I may do is um, take those fittings off and take those off. And just if I do right, wind up keeping this machine for a while, I'll straight plumb this head to this machine and do away with all that restriction and all that heat and all that. So, anyway, um, there you have it the 180D, then a Seamoff, and SK140. Um, I'm going to do another little video here about, uh, I'll post it up next about, uh, guys getting into mulching business. There's been a lot getting into it lately. I'm, I'm new myself, but, um, uh, I think, uh, there wasn't very many people around here doing it when I started. I think there was two in our area and now there's about eight or nine and, um, so I'll touch on that in just a minute. Uh, if you're thinking about getting in the mulching business, I'll try to give you a few pointers without giving everything away. Um, anyway, there you go. Thank you, guys. And if you like my channel, just comment and uh, subscribe to it. Thank you.